Garth, pull over. Um, oh man, uh, come on. Not again. Hi everyone, this is John. I'm in LA. Uh, I'm on my way actually downtown to do some street photography, but I wanted to stop in this guitar shop real quick to see if they have a certain something. There it is. Excalibur. No stairway. Denied. Hi everyone, this is John. I actually made it to LA. Um, after the guitar shop, I actually stopped to get some food. Um, I was passing through an Armenian neighborhood and actually found a, a Georgian restaurant. I've never had Georgian food before, so I thought, why not? And after, uh, let's say, gorging myself a little bit, I found myself in a food coma and I, I didn't quite make it to downtown for photography. By the time I got down, um, I was, uh, not motivated for photography, I was just, let's just say, feeling rather sluggish. And I, as I got to downtown, um, the light was no good, so I, I actually just went home. And so I'm here this morning, to be honest. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as I was wearing yesterday. Um, yeah. Anyway, so um, I made it downtown again this morning, and I found myself in this rut, uh, waking up, like, I wasn't feeling very motivated even to come out just to photograph because um, when I do street photography it's, it's semi-organic like there'd be something I'm interested in like a restaurant or a museum or just a, a tree nothing specific you know it's never the same thing so I'll come down to photograph that and then while I find myself there it's well let's just walk around and see what we see and you know that's about it um, so waking up to you know when it's still dark and thinking let's go out for photography it's not usually high on my list so anyway here I am I was driving around actually went through Chinatown first I saw some cool things so I'll probably hit that up in a little bit um, but I found this uh, parking kiosk I've done a video before where I photographed another parking kiosk but I found myself lately um, finding them interesting not just parking kiosks but I've seen restaurant kiosks uh, kiosks. Um, so anyway, I just thought uh, I'll stop to photograph this, the way the light's hitting it and everything. Um, when I do street photography, I actually uh, travel light. I just have this little uh, shoulder pack, um, three lenses. Um, I try to keep things handheld because um, with street photography, you know, there's a lot of um, I don't know spontaneous moments that you know to set up a tripod and all that kind of stuff. You can miss the shot in you know by the time you're set up and it's long long over so uh i'm gonna do uh i i like to be uh, a little bit incognito as much as possible when doing street photography um i'm gonna put a camera on the a video camera on the camera just kind of walk around not talk a lot while i'm doing this because i like to want it i'm shy around people so talking to a camera, you know, it's tough for me. Um, and second of all, I just want to be as low profile as possible, even though I'm walking around with a big camera with a video camera on it. Um, so I'll add in little notes here and there as I go. Anyway, here's this cool kiosk, as cool as kiosks get. So. Let's get started. You know, once I'm up and I get out here, it's something I love about LA early in the morning, especially on a weekend. There's not a lot of people out. And so it feels like I have the city to myself. 
parking's free. There's a lot of available parking and lighting's really cool. And so it just becomes this uh, sort of rewarding feeling of just being out, you know, getting past thinking about, you know, will there be interesting shots, um, you know, that kind of thing. It becomes worth it. I carry, I'm carrying three lenses. Um, I try to keep things simple. I have a 85 millimeter, a uh, 35, and a uh, nifty 50. I like to keep things light uh, and simple. Um, a lot of times with one lens, generally, like I, if the shot's not working, I can move. Or if, you, you know, if I have to, I can switch to a wider angle or something a little more isolating, like the 85 millimeter. I like to carry a, a a side bag like this or a shoulder bag but also it's easy to switch a lens real fast but also for security reasons it's nice to have a bag that you can just keep in front of you keeping with the idea of a kiosk theme this morning here's a nice kiosk one thing i try to do with my camera i can frame things as a square so I thought just in case I want to do a square later I can know if it works or not ahead of time and just behind the peak kiosk is Bruce Lee I don't know if it really works as a 35 it's a lot of interesting items here And so, doing street photography, so I'm walking around Chinatown right now and there's basically nobody out. There's a person here and there. It gets me warmed up. Um, sometimes shyness can get the best of me and I won't really go out to photograph because it just seems overwhelming to jump into a crowd, especially when there's no parking and all that kind of stuff. It just, I get easily scared off. So walking around a little bit gets me out of my car, hit camera in hand, and gets me photographing and not overthinking things. That's what happens, like it's easy for me to overthink and get and turn into self-defeating. I don't want to interrupt, but I want to photograph. It feels like spying in a way.
¿Está bien? Is it okay? It's okay for a picture? Okay. One thing I'm learning over and over again, I have to relearn every day. You only make it in photography if you're okay with being told no. You keep asking and keep trying. Because eventually someone's gonna tell you no. Sometimes people tell you yes. That's just a fact of life. So when I walk around an open market like this, even though it's closed, I always just look for angles, slivers of light like here. Hi everyone, this is John. I just finished editing this video um, and I realized when I was requ recording the ending, I didn't hit record. I thought I did. I was using a GoPro and the little record button was on, but I don't know, user error. Anyway, um, just ending this video. Um, I wanna give a shout out to Cassell's uh, music in San Fernando. Uh, a scene from Wayne's World was shot there, one of my favorite movies. Uh, I just wanna give a little fun tribute to Wayne's World and thanks to Ed at Cassell's um, if you're in San Fer Fernando go check him out and you he's a friendly guy um, anyway if you have any comments or questions leave them down below um, if you have any suggestions for future videos I'd, related to photography I'd love to hear them and give them a shot uh, feel free to subscribe no pressure um, I'll see you next time bye